This is a cement splicer. This particular one is called a manette splicer. And one of the reasons I use it uh, is because I'm often dealing with old film that is shrunken. And the pins on the manette splicer are movable pins. They're just little steel plates underneath uh, that can be adjusted. <clears throat> and once you have them in perfect alignment for normal film, it's possible with a little force uh, to bend them inward uh, to accommodate shrunken film. We lay the film down so as to get a completely clean frame on, from which to scrape. This film has been cut on the diagonal uh, and you notice that it's a uh, uh, frame uh, sprocket hole is broken uh, so we're going to have to cut that frame off. Now we need to scrape the emulsion away because a film cement uh, will not hold on top of emulsion. And to do that we hold the film very tightly as I'm doing with my right hand and use the scraper with the left until we can see clear film as we can right here. We sweep the dust away and off the scraper blade for future use and trim the end of the film afterwards. We take the other piece of film, lay it down so that it has a full edge for gluing right up to the overlap. Film cement should be kept in small bottles because it ages and you want to use it up. I've applied it with one stroke to the scraped edge of the film. Now I bring the other edge down I hold it and count to 30. While I'm counting to 30, I take a piece of film of soft cloth and wipe any glue off the top of the emulsion side of the film. I'm still holding it under pressure. After 30 seconds, I can release it, and before I uh, take off the right uh, pressure plate, I lift the film off the sprocket holes on the left. Raise the pressure plate and lift it off carefully on the right. The splice now is complete but not strong. That takes uh, a little longer. If you're in a hurry, uh, you can apply it to the end of a very low wattage light bulb uh, with your finger for a few seconds and that will help harden the cement. But you don't want to hold it long enough or under hot enough a bulb to change to damage the film or cause the uh, discoloration uh, of the emulsion. I have a bulb on a rheostat. I turn it way down and, uh, and just warm the film at that point. If you have to do a lot of repair work, uh, you may want to set uh, the splicer on top of a, uh, a heating pad, an ordinary home heating pad, and that after about a half hour will make a hot splicer out of any metal splicer. You notice that I'm working on a towel here. Uh, I like to, 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 uh, to do that. Uh, little bits of emulsion are caught in the towel. I change it fairly frequently. Uh, and it seems to keep the, the uh, particles from attaching themselves to the film and scratching it as, as the film is reeled up. Or is it sitting on the table here? 